Just, just fucking give them the map already. Fuck, it's gonna take me ages. That's the first thing they fucking heard. Good job, Felix. Also, hi, Maddie. Yes, this is another D and D stream because we finally got everyone together for at least two consecutive weeks in a row. That's great. Woo! All right, we don't know about when next week though, so we're gonna try. But anyways, hi everybody. Uh, hello. say hello everybody else or uh, whatever. Hello everybody else. Wait, we had a session. Ah! Sorry, say that again. <laughs> hello, foolish mortals. Oh no! Get the fuck out! No, get the fuck out of here. You're a mortal yourself, Zero. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Bro. Oh, wait, you're a ginger. You're a foolish, but a ginger. Yeah, foolish <laughs> ginger. <sighs> Bro, why isn't Wu to- I don't know what the problem is with being a ginger, god. <laughs> um, well, I mean, uh, like, it's- I want to refund with my soul, because it's pretty shit. No, I stole your soul. I thought we talked about this before. No, 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 no. No, no, yeah. we cut in half. That's what I remember. Oh, yeah! Well, no, no, no. How the fuck do you guys? You don't. I'm we... here. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no we, 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 we trade it off, is what it is. <laughs> With how long the rule 20 is taking, I swear. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, I can just as well Felix. try and draw the entire map from memory. <laughs> No nah, man, she got your salt. See, see, you. Uh, I don't think it would go very well for you. No, it wouldn't. But anyway, um, this thing isn't loading, so there's nothing I can do about that. Hey, Luna, it's been a while. So, uh, uh we're not gonna do anything. So I'm gonna look through the stream. Haha. <laughs> oh my god, no. All right, all right. Um, <laughs> um refresh maybe your page. that's why it's taking so long because you're trying to have other. No, things I don't have the stream open. I'm opening it now. Okay, never mind. That doesn't even load. Oh, that's my network's <laughs> fucked. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> ah! Alright. Just right. stop, damn it. It's not like I'm, I'm trying not seeing anything that I shouldn't see. Shut up. <laughs> As you can see today, everybody, it is oh, another fucked up stream. <laughs> we were all here before everything, trying to get everything set up. Yeah. And, and then Felix decided to mess it up. I didn't mess up anything. We had a streak going. I think and you fucked it up. I think for in the future, Felix, you should just have everything up an hour ahead of time. <laughs> the problem no, no, is, no, it's, no, it's not. not boy. No, it's not working. Give me no, a second. That's all right. That's all right. Um, uh, I'm gonna go open on Google Chrome and see if that works. <laughs> the fuck are you using? Oprah Jets. Only the best. <laughs> I don't even know what the <laughs> fuck that is. It's what you're using. Oh, 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 Opera? Okay. I heard, oh I heard Oprah. <laughs> I heard Oprah Projects, and I'm like, what? No. What the fuck is that? <laughs> when the fuck did Oprah get a fucking <laughs> web service? Oh when the fuck? I wouldn't put it past her. Uh, just now. <laughs> Apparently just now, yeah. <laughs> You get a free uh, Felix, website. You, you have... get a free website. Do you have like a VPN on right now? No. Oh, oh Reaper. Do... <laughs> did, did you do like a mating call at the start? That's what I it sounded like. Oh my. Why? Why does everyone associate Hammond? a lot of things I do with a fucking mating call? I swear to Christ. I swear to God. God well, damn you it. do have a clip on it. And then she's going to smite you. I didn't say it. <laughs> No, no, not that. I see. I'm just. Did somebody draw oh, on the map? Did, 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 Wait, bro, is he drawing with Hanyu? What the Are fuck? you drawing on the map that you're not supposed to be drawing on? <laughs> you're not saying no, and it, and it concerns me. Oh, you know what? It looks nice. They have a nice little green part of the yard. <laughs> whoever that. Whoever's Where? little place Where that is. Where did you put it? You okay. motherfucker! God damn it! TOS? <laughs> SA actually coming plus. in there. SA, what the fuck is SA? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ayo? <gasps> Holy okay, shit, he's here! I have two web browsers open now, for fuck's sake. Yeah, we know what the second one's used for, alright? He's alive! He's alive! I'm sorry. Oh, we're supposed to use a second website for that kind of stuff? Ayo, what? <laughs> so it, uh...
All right. We've got to go see it. See you, Maddie. Thank you for dropping by. It was great seeing you. Uh, Turn guy on your way out. All right. All right. So we're all here. We're all, we're all ready to go, yeah? Sure. No. Yes. <laughs> Mentally, no. Okay. Now, whether that's true or not is up to you. <laughs> I fuck fuck off fuck off fuck off I know who that is Drunk. fuck off anyways we're gonna continue from the C&D session cause fuck off mm -hmm. uh, uh alright <clears throat> five years from now shut up leave me alone so last time we left off here on our session we were all in a meeting we're no sorry not we all you all were in a meeting with the uh, headmasters of the Children of the Purple Rose Academy as well with Sunset there as well. Just sunset! And we all love Sunset, right? Right. Anyways. Sometimes. Nah, we all love Sunset. He's great. Okay. Love torturing yeah, Sunset. Alright, yes. leave the poor bean alone. He's cool. just doing his job, alright? And we all know Sunset is just the, is the fifth. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, nevertheless, that's why he's such a. Yeah, that that that's why he's so timid. So he's like keeping his power level down for you guys. That's why. He's humbling himself before he wrecks your shit. Um. You were all asked to go to a meeting there, so you could discuss and ask questions, and finally, hopefully, get some answers that you guys have been desperately looking for, from these mysterious figures, mysterious patrons to some. They've been somewhat forthcoming with information, but yet also very reluctant to give everything away for free or just be very open and honest from the get-go. Um, Paige also has had her memories restored from being there previously as well. And also, everybody mm. decided to dress up nice and differently, and their characters look fantastic, wonderful, great. Yeah? Yeah. Tannis got yelled at. Yeah, Tannis got, or Fisk, sorry, Fisk got yelled at for dressing normal, and Lord Vilgoth said, uh-uh, we ain't doing that. Nope, absolutely fucking not. Nope, 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 nope. We've talked about this. You're going to get graded for this every time you get in there, in, the, in this academy. And if you look like that, your grade's going to go down. Uh... That's news to her now, but, but, but yeah. Uh, and also, everybody there as well also ate something before uh, that Fidrum helped to make with Lord Renal as well. And everyone, I liked it, especially Paige, because it was just a bowl of Dido Nuggies, essentially. And like one thing of like salad leaf at that point. Just, just, just one. Yes. Okay. And, oh yeah, <laughs> and, and the um and the chocolate lava cake, which, again, I want. Huh? My... Yeah, yeah. Did you say it's my bread? I don't know. Give me, give me the words. I'm the one that created this idea. <laughs> Chief, I will die on this mountain. <laughs> Wait. Hey, <laughs> wait a minute. Uh, but yes. Sorry, it's a hill. Not a mountain. My bad. Uh, so now you all are sitting across from the other headmasters and mistresses. Again, also Sunset there is sitting next to uh, oh, what was his name? Lord Mazaroth. Sorry, I spelled that out. Eh. Sitting right next to him there as well. They're kind of looking at you now seeing if you want to start off the conversation first or if they should start it off first. I mean, we are the guests. Sure. Yeah, but we're also the... Yeah. <laughs> uh, a few minutes, or a few moments go by. It did not come back, not mine. Uh, a few moments go by, and eventually, Lord Nazaroth says, <clears throat> after clearing his throat, um, thank you everyone for being here. Uh, he kind of gestures with his hands, like, openly, and starts being a bit more expressive with them. 
we would like to apologize formally to you all on our reluctance of certain information not reaching you in such a dangerous situation that we placed you in. In all honesty, and we don't mean this in a rude way, we didn't think you would uncover as much information as you had about the Order of the Fifth and who at the time was their main initiator or instant executioner of other people. We didn't think you'd find them very quickly and sadly we didn't think you'd also battle with them. We were hoping we could do that front for you or at least have people do that for you or for us I should say because it's for the whole world your whole mm, how do I phrase this your whole job was really just to get information and intelligence for us kind of as spies you didn't obviously clearly express that very well and again we didn't feel as though we could trust you fully um, now we can and we apologize again sincerely of how long it has taken although yes you're here in our establishment um, the two of you he points to Fisk and Fidrim are also a part of it and are our students here now we still are takes a moment, puts his hands together, looks back up. We are still wary of if you truly are on our side, if we were to be honest. You have not shown anything, or granted you have not shown anything to say otherwise. But due to past circumstances, which we will explain further today, or later today, it is very hard to trust people we don't know. Does that help at all, at least with that front and why we haven't told you everything? does but I, I do have one question about a gathering mission mm -hmm. if okay. if we were only meant to gather information is there a special group of individuals that were meant to take a more active role when we presented anything yes and if so where are they because as you mentioned as we took care of the executioner one one of the per people that we are all associated with was nearly lost, if not for well, our actions. You two are associated with her. Mm -hmm. There. Is a group of individuals that is supposed to take care of the main. Yeah, give me a second. Give me one minute. Okay, okay. Um, there is a group of individuals that was supposed to do the more physical, demanding part of this whole operation. However, each time they were sent out to do their job, essentially, they were no match against Nikita. For some reason, she allowed you guys to get in somewhat close with her. 
And as you can tell, she's very fond with mental mind games. And although, yes, we do have some knowledge, or, well, not some, sorry, a lot of knowledge over this because mind games or mental things are in the realms of dreams and such. For some reason, they just couldn't get past her. Or she didn't want them to succeed. Of course she didn't want you to succeed either. However, she felt like she was trying to toy with you all. And we kind of had to play off of that. From what we could tell. Because again, she only let you in. And let you stay around for as long as she did. Because she wanted to toy with you. And another thing as well. She did have a connection, if I remember correctly, with Fidrim's mother. It's another reason why. Um, what about uh, this sorry. connection, dude? Do you, do you have any information that we can gain from this so that way we can be pre better prepared for her cohorts and whatnot? Mm. He ponders there and sips. Um... As he is trying to formulate his thoughts, you notice that Sunset kind of perks up a little bit. You flip to the little mantle off and says, May I speak? Oh, her eyes are all full of tears. She says, Why, yes, you can. Sunset stands up, um, puts his hands behind his back, trying to be very formal and such. He looks to Fidrim in particular. And he says, uh, I told you when you joined the academy, I would tell you more information about your mother, yes? Do you remember this? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. And in this instance, I feel if it's okay with you, tell everybody else here as well. I, I, and it'll have a correlation with Nikita and the Order of the Cliff. But would that be okay if I shared this with everyone? <coughs> Fishroom just has a nod. Oh, okay. Kind of backs up a little bit, stands up straight, and tall. As tall as he can get. Head. Kind of gestures down, though. Try not to get into eye contact with anybody. You, your mother was a st student here. She was a st student. It's starting to get, make him sound a little nervous. She, she was a student. Under Lady Orzov. And, she ge and he gestures towards Lady Orzov, which, for those who are unaware, that is the Sinograph side. Ah, shit. Sorry. Phone fell. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Um. Uh, uh, this news was too much. Oh, yeah. The phone's like, what? Uh, she she was tasked to find information and be a part of a more aggressive physical side of finding the Order of the Cliff. Before I continue, do you know anything about your father? 
just this is some bullshit he's doing. Like, just, like, no. Just some shit. Doesn't say anything. Okay. He's like staring in the middle, muttering to himself, like, oh, well, this is a whole song <coughs> going on. All right. Um, <clears throat> your mother was tasked to find the Order of the Fifth and eliminate as many of them as possible. <coughs> the fuck was that? Hmm. The fuck? Who did that? Was that I got Chase? no idea. Yo, Chase fell asleep. No, I just muted myself. Oh, maybe that's what it was. Hmm. Um. Uh, sorry, you continue on. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if he does, but he is just repeatedly yelling. You know what? You can stay out there. You're in trouble. Anyways. <laughs> Your mother, like, again, sent to find and kill any of the Order of the Fifth since they were a very dangerous threat back then. But they were able to succeed in summoning the first horsemen as they were now. But they didn't get further than that. Your father, from what we do know, was a guard to oversee the fifth themselves. And he came to Earth, because he was on Earth, or he was ordered to, to see what was going on since the first horseman was awakened. Your father and mother met somehow. I don't know the details to that, but they met and a connection, a bond of some form, shape, whatever you want to call it, was made. And, and then, then you appeared. So, you know, you, you know how that works, right? right? I'm not going into detail about that because that just kind of really stresses me out. Uh, anyways. Uh. 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 He's kind of like a little, a little stunned. He's like, ah. Uh, uh, I don't like the thought of that track of mine. Anyways, eventually, he gets up, he recuperates himself. He goes, uh. But, and since you were young, your mother still kept doing these missions, even though we did tell her not to, but she refused. And your father stayed for as long as he could and tried to help raise you as much as he could while your mother was also doing missions. However, during one of those peaceful times of moments when they were together, you were there as well, like, Fast asleep in the swing bird? Uh oh, I don't remember. The Order of the Fifth found them at their home. And He looks down with a bit of sadness in his eyes, like further down than when he was. And to be blunt, you killed your mother. And your father, in a fit of rage, killed many of the members there. 
but after using up so much energy, he can no longer stay on this planet. So he begrudgingly had to leave you. Huh, what my sources and my mouth here knows. And to this day, he is still a guard to the fifth and has not been allowed to return to here since. And we assume that Nikita is was much older than she appeared. And was a part of that raid, if you will call it. keeps looking down, kind of like now shifting back and forth, not sure what, what else to say or do after dropping that load of information. Fidrim, how does your character feel right now? Annoyed with himself. <clears throat> what? Say that again? Well, <clears throat> sorry. Mm -hmm. I was hearing the Nikita kind of was part of that said raid. He's more mad at himself for having let go of such a valuable asset. Mm. Of course, if she was that old, then she was perhaps one of the more higher up. So he is a little bit concerned as to. Uh, a few things. Oh, and that would be? How weak Nikita was. Mm -hmm. mm. So he's a little bit worried about is he going to overestimate the next opponent that may come in? Because she is by all means not the only one that's part of that group. True. To find the sacrifices. That being said, he shifts forward, lays both his hands, well, his arms on the table, and just places the front of his mouth, contemplating for a moment, and then says, <clears throat> Sorry, just as he's doing a little sip. Okay. You said enough. I understand now the smaller details as to some to some degree. So I must admit it frustrates me even more so that I allowed Nikita to get away in a suicidal manner. Not help to feel that it is still my fault that she managed to slip to our planet. With that being said, there is no reason for us to dwell on the past right now. It is best for us to know how are we going to deal with this situation further. Um, after saying all this, er, does anyone else want to say anything? I want to put my hand on Fedrin's shoulder, trying to comfort him. Okay. Uh, how do you react to this, Fedrin? I saw something and he didn't see it coming. <laughs> that man jerks. <laughs> Yo, fucking, what the fuck? How to jump across the table? <laughs> He's like a fucking scaredy cat when it comes to like touch. He's like, hey, yo, what the hell? We don't do that here. That's not okay. Hey, oh, I, I'm, hey, oh, five feet. I'm sitting here. 
Hey, yo, we got to keep a pole that's like 10 feet away because like, no touchy. This is my bubble zone. This is my... No, no, don't touch and me there. And please move over here. No touchy. No touchy. No, touchy. <laughs> no but it's just like... It gives just like that very questioning like look real quick. <laughs> hey, hey, yo, what's up? Before settling back into like his chair. Why are you touching me? Hmm. What are you trying to accomplish here? Kill me! <laughs> trying to fuck you? What the fuck? Uh, does Fisk do anything while this altercation happens? He just stays silent. He's just trying to process all this. The hamster is brave, trying to run. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's been on break for a while now. <laughs> oh no. You can hear the squeaking of the wheel from here. <laughs> yeah. Um. Plus, he just survived one of the normal times. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, after this altercation occurred, uh, I don't know how old they are. I don't know who it is. Uh, after a while, or after this altercation, Lady Olvis stands up from her chair looks to sunset and says you may sit down now you've done well she has a commanding presence that requires everyone's attention to be heard here she walks away from her chair kind of walks around a little bit hands behind her back again very like very like like a uh, um, commander like you know like you're in the army, and they're like, yes, okay, we have to show you what to do. You know, you know again, all this. She kind of goes back and forth, looks to you all, and says, yes. From this information alone, we can decipher that the Order of the Fifth is very weak, for they are sending out older individuals that might have been a part of their information for, or, not information, been a part of their... Organization. Thank you. Organization. <laughs> like, it, the word was there, but it, it also wasn't there. The part of their organization for a very long time. So that means, quite frankly, they're getting desperate. And that's good for us. However, they didn't realize that they'd be showing this many cards early on with just Nikita dying. She kind of stops, pivots towards you all. So... This doesn't mean, though, that the other remaining members of their organization aren't stronger or just as strong as her. And quite frankly, because of us, begrudgingly because of us, you have a bit of a target on your back now. And at the same time as well, they're willing to make sacrifices as much as needed. I've never seen them over the many years that I've been alive and dealt with this organization. Have I ever seen them be this desperate? So clearly, something is wrong. There is an inner turmoil or something. And we can use that to our advantage. For knowledge is power, and we will find it. Now, speaking of knowledge, there's more information we need to tell you. Okay? However, it won't be I who will be telling you this. She walks over to Lady Kaz, who is kind of drifting, dozing a little bit. She smacks her on the head and says, wake up! <laughs> Lady Kaz wakes up. What, what the fuck was that for? Uh, 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 mm. sorry. Um, Lady Olvis looks down at her, gets real close and personal and says, but, you know, loud enough for everyone to hear I believe it is time you tell these lovely people what the hell you have done. She goes back slowly and prepares to take a seat. You know that Lady Kaz, who is mostly very pale, begins to turn red in the face in pure embarrassment. <clears throat> ah. She's 
she puts her hands together, kind of twiddle them back and forth like a kid who's been caught uh, in trouble and stuff like that. And Jar? Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. She puts her hands down, kind of aggressively on the table, looks up to you all and says, I'm sorry. First off and foremost, I am sorry. I didn't realize that, one, my presence alone would have been able to be that insignificant towards that fight. I thought I had a bit more power than that. However, I do not. Uh, I was a bit too cocky, as people would say nowadays. Kind of flipping back and forth, shifting. And And I will tell you how we trapped the Order of the Fifth and got the horsemen to sign to a contract early on. But this is a tale and knowledge you need to know now. And I had a huge hand in this. Not in the best way, though. Can you all make a perception check for me, please? Times four. Four? Can we perception check? I said four. Oh. I thought you rolled a four, or like, what is it for? I'm like, that's what you're rolling for, so you can see potentially something. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I've only got ten total. Oh. The dice are not worth me at the moment. Oh no. I got like a uh, seventeen. Okay. He's distracted by Paige. <laughs> oh, ayo. Should I just oh, give you disadvantage? Oh, no. He's already got a two. <laughs> 21. 21. This. As you glance around the table and see as Lady Katz is speaking, you notice Lord Maseroth, who is most, mostly calm and collective to an extent. You see in his eyes there is a harsh glint as she says, I was a part of of this contract and not in the good side. Very harsh and putting. Something is not right. Um she continues though. When I was much younger and extremely more naive than I am even now I was rather rebellious? Yeah, we're gonna go with that word. Oh no. Oh dear lord. I was rather rebellious. Basically a drink out. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Imagine having a rebellious phase. Oh, yeah. yeah. Especially as a demon. Like, how the, how the fuck? You're, I understand you're all about rebellion, but, like, what? The fuck? <laughs> um, Must be, like, in the first... Demon rebellious phase as they were a nun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, I have a character idea in the future. But not now. Smack somebody. <laughs> um, Fill the Phil Oh, oh, okay. That wasn't. That wasn't. That was not meant to be a jab at you. I swear to God, that wasn't. I know. I know. I'm, I'm missing. Um. <sighs> yes, I had a rebellious phase. Not proud of it because it got a lot of people killed. Very important. No, let's not suffer. No, because he's being really, really fucking loud. So hold on. Yeah, 
he is he is being loud. All right, sorry about that, everybody. Anyways, <coughs> where was I? Ah, yes, Rebellion's face. She got people killed. Um, not not the greatest of people, not the greatest person at the time. Anyways. During the rise of the Order of the Fifth by by the Bonaparte of its creation, um, it's not one of my proudest moments. Uh, for I really just didn't give a damn about anything or anyone, and. I was tasked with many a duties, for I was the last sin, and a lot of things were left up to me. I had, well, literally, just to explain, and she kind of, like, looks back at everybody else, and, like, making sure, like, she doesn't get in trouble by saying this. I, I, uh, kind of, kind of, kind of, like, looking, like, don't yell at me, please. I was young and stupid and didn't want to do what I wanted to do, or, sorry, didn't want to do what I was told to do, for my whole purpose was to be a lady of realm of dreams, demonic dreams to be a bit more precise, or not dreams, but like a, of gluttony and such, no, no, a sloth, sorry, she's a sloth, I'm dumb. Check. A brain check? I don't have one. Um, <laughs> and I got fed up with doing all the, the fucking things they asked me to do because it was a lot. It was very demanding. You, you know, I understand, like, I'm a sloth and all, but, like, when I'm asleep, I'm actually very, very busy. Because, again, I work in the realms of dreams and the minds and all that fun-loving shit. And I didn't... I got tired of it. I hated it. And I didn't see a purpose to continue. And I met with one of the horsemen when they started being bit more active, but not in the sense of they were summoned, but more of they felt something being born, I guess. For everything has to be created somehow, yes? Of course. Well, for a very long time, there were only four horsemen. But for some reason, back in the day, Something felt the need to create something that could quite literally end it all. I don't know who or what had the power to do so, but they did it. And the other horsemen knew how to essentially awaken it. It was a calling for them. And they were very close to waking it. And during this time, Conquest was creating essentially a new religion. A deity towards the fifth. To... To... To awaken and bring everyone ready to basically meet their end. And a lot of people back then were so very ready. Did you realize how much disease was going on? How unfair everything was? There was no fucking electricity or plumbing. Like, it was horrible. It, it was fucking disgusting. Uh. And... 
And during this time, as the horsemen were starting to gain power, enough power to awaken the fifth, for the fifth wasn't bound by shackles at the time. Um, they were gaining power, like I said, and very close to doing it. Because I also gave them a lot of my power back then to be able to summon it. But there's a lot of things in our world that we don't all understand. But we all have a connection. For the horsemen are kinship to us in a way that we share the same power in a sense. They rule over different things and have control over certain aspects of mortals. Does that make sense? Thank yes. You. Thank you, Taylor, for that. <laughs> <laughs> so, during this time, they could feel that we, or me, I should say, was not really a part of the others. But we can weird as it sounds, but we can feel each other. Their presence is always somewhere within our mind. So if they sense a shift, they'll know it. Well, again, after being very close to Awakening the Fifth, they were stopped by 12 brave adventurers and the rest of the sins. These 12 adventurers, although their names are long forgotten, sacrificed themselves to make a blood shackle in a sense to keep the fifth from truly awakening and bringing consciousness to themselves. But to keep it fully sealed, it required the sacrifice of something of its kin. And that's why Lady Naimana is no longer with us. But she sacrificed herself to keep the strength of these shackles in a place of corruptions. However, some things that may feel like they will never break, there's always loopholes to break them. Even after all of that, I was still feeling rebellious. I still hated everything. So, I made a contract with the other horsemen to help appease the other sins for now. At the time, I should say. For they were to be summoned, they were to go back to hell, to a place in hell where no one can disturb them. But they can be summoned when the shackles start to break. When the shackles start to break on the full or newest of moons, with the lunar or solar energies of individuals that were like the ones that sacrificed themselves and had connections to the energies and magics of the earth or wherever they were connected to. In a specific order, they could be released one by one. And once all of them were released, they were they would be able to overcome the the last essential shackle, which is that of Lady Naimana. And her essence would be erased forever. And you might think as well, because Conquest has been released before. Do the shackles regrow? 
they do, but it takes a very long time. And the shackles have, well, were regrown. However, they've been broken again, and they're very weak. At least the first three. So the conquest is now out and seeking. However, if, since they were abided by a contract, by myself and such, they were had to abide to whoever summoned them. They have to do whatever they ask. And since the person who summoned them is no longer here, it's a bit of a loophole now. For now, they can kind of do whatever they want. pleased with having a hand in so much of destruction and sadness and just death. Over time it has taken me a while to come to terms seeing how wrong I was back then. And just how very dangerous I could have turned the tides to something that can potentially ruin the all here to see it. And that's not a good thing. And I have something to tell all of you. She looks to you guys, but also to the others. She stands up, grabs a few things of paper, she looks to you all and starts handing you guys a few pieces of paper. The uh, the other sins look at her in shock. Because they already feel a sense of knowing what's happened. And I will send you everything. At the moment, so please bear with me. Okay. <clears throat> she hands you three pieces of paper. It's something you're a bit familiar with, but it's been a while since you've seen it. She looks to you all and says, I'm the one that created the poem, and I know the rest of it and have the original kanji. What do you mean? You've always been looking at it every day. Hmm? <coughs> or like, actually us, person. Nah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's the one that, and she was trying to say that she's the one that created the poem originally mm. and has mm -hmm. it all together. Nobody else knew about it because I wrote it just in case it may be needed in the future. And this is the poem that the Order of the Fifth abides by, for this is their way to unlock the fifth. At least the first part. And this is the more tedious, time-consuming part. For it oh takes dear. about... Oh, time to read the list. Uh, not yet, not yet, not yet. We're gonna have everybody read uh. aloud. Not me, because there's only three left. So, uh, but you can have it open and ready for, like, the, the next one. Uh... was I? Sorry. Ah. I've kept this information hidden from y'all because I, well, not because I wanted to not tell you, but more because I was very embarrassed and I understand our sources was trying to look for this information when in reality it was already right here in our place of 
residing. Fertram um, just like slowly covers his face with his hand. Like you fucking dipshit. I mean, to be fair, if you want to hide something, might as well just find it in plain sight in a place that no one would suspect. <laughs> um, you can tell from the other sins, some of them have a bit of disgust, astonishment, some of them are a bit upset, shock, just what? Because they're now turning towards her. audacity of this bitch. Yeah, pretty much. This is just. Oh, oh. He, he's like at a boiling point right now. He's, I can he's tell just with your mic. <laughs> your mic is a burr. Michael Burr. Uh, <laughs> 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 that mic wins. Yeah, no. Like, he is like. His face is basically matching the same color of red as his outfit right now. Like. Oh, God. <laughs> oh my! Oh dear! Oh, Paige, how are you feeling? Maybe they right should now? win for a different color. I'm very fucking triggered. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, like if she was wasn't coming, angry, by the way, if she wasn't coming clean right now, she would be getting just straight up attacked at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> But that being said, he's going to let her say her bit and get everything out. Hmm. Well, while well, she's talking, Fedrum is just going to reach out, take out the other two notes, and then just place them like in a sense of order. Mm -hmm. You should have had three. In front of him? Should have had no, three. we only had two. We didn't have the third one. No? I could have sworn I should have the third one if you guys are right. Yeah. You all mm -hmm. have the ability to see it. Oh no! Yeah, we, we right, did see all right. five now. No, you're right. You're right. I thought it was in parts of six. My apologies. Whoops. Not my, <laughs> my bad. I'm sorry. You guys are right. My, again, my apologies. It's been a while. <laughs> it, it's been a while since I've actually had this, so I I like to talk about it. Um. Uh, she she notices the hostility and the. And they rightfully so. Fetchum just angry. has no hostility. It's just oh, no, no, no. She noticed the hostility from everybody else. Yeah, yeah. He's just face bombing, and then getting himself ready to like just continue. Uh, she she notices that the the vibes in this room are not immaculate for her, so she kind of stands up, <laughs> backs away. She's okay. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Please, please, please. Okay. Everyone just quietly waiting. Just, you know, she's a bit, you know, just, just gonna let her do her thing. Okay. I wasn't trying to hide it on purpose. Again, I was very embarrassed, and I wasn't trying to deceive anybody here, okay? I understand I should have been up front at first. However, I... I just fucking suck, and I know I understand that is the biggest understatement of the world, but I just fucking suck, okay? And I, it, it may have slipped my mind a few times as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm not trying to, I'm, I'm not in the quote unquote rebellious stage. I really do genuinely want to help. That's kind of why I'm bringing this to you here now and explaining everything as much as I can remember. Because again, it's just been a few thousand, or not a few thousand, it's been a few hundred years since the last time it's been of real. Uh, significance. So please, please bear in mind that I'm not, I'm genuinely trying to help now. I'm trying to rectify the things that I've done and, in a sense, repent. Repent? <laughs> repent in the God Emperor's name. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> we have a cleric with us. Oh no! <laughs> no! Uh, Paige is emitting the scent of just like burnt wood. Just like ash. Oh? 
Oh? oh the no. fuck? Yeah, Wait, that's cool. Can, can I ask why? Out of character, can I ask why? Because she's fucking pissed. Um, okay, can I be real I, I, I honest think... with everybody? I didn't think y'all would be this pissed. <laughs> Or at least your characters. Okay, <laughs> listen. We like our main goal was basically to find this poem to figure out what is going to happen next. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> so and, for and to, find out. to have somebody who knows that we are looking for this poem and knows us and knows what we're trying to do and hide it and from it's... literally everybody in this room, even so their actively own is still telling around as well. <laughs> and we could have died. Literally, like, four sessions ago, because of it. Yeah, we're pissed. We would have died, nah. <laughs> no, we probably would have died, but the it, there was a possibility. <laughs> no, we, could, we couldn't have died. No, I'm sorry. Especially with the net ones. <laughs> Alright, shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut the fuck up! Especially I can make you You know what? You know what, Fidrum? You've been smited. Minus one point to you. <laughs> Minus one help. Yeah. He's so mad. He's clenching his fist so much that he's making like no. dents into his No, 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 dead like, ass. Dead ass. Like, minus one. Minus bite. one. I'm not I even did, joking. I did minus one. Good. I did minus one. Okay, thank you. All but right. that's not in character. I just got smited. Yeah. It was a mental smiting. It was a mental. It was a mental. <laughs> just like. Uh, After everything you heard, your mind just snaps. Mine just snaps. He just goes insane. Fedrum has lost his mind. Oh, Guess I need to bring out the dwarf Karen now. Oh god, no, please no. <laughs> I didn't see you. No. Anyways. Um. Are they barbarian? <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah, you know. Show me the manager! <laughs> <laughs> I, I could probably make a okay. really good fucking barbarian Karen. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. <laughs> Let's not. Let's not give him that power. <laughs> give me the power. Give me the power. Yes. No, no let's no. not give them that power. Back <laughs> on track. Come on. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, true, true, true. Anyways, yes. <laughs> I blame Fidrum. Um. <laughs> um. She be she's starting to back away because she's sensing the extreme hostility. Again, understandably so. Um. She says, okay, I understand. Everybody probably wants to severely hurt me right now. And I, I, I personally, I'd appreciate if you didn't. However, I, I guess I really wouldn't put it against you if you did. But I really don't like pain. So, um, could we, like, just talk this out? That, that being said, yeah, I'm going to test out if magic works in this room real quick. I'm catching <laughs> Mage Hand near her. Uh, magic does work. Okay. It's just a Mage Hand floating in front of her face. Okay. It does that. Um, you don't need to do that. No, no, no. It just comes forward and it just does flick like that flick against the head. That's all. It's flicking it's all okay. Head. All right. All. Um, that kind of hurt a little bit, but it was very deserved, actually. Yeah. That, 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 mm. Okay. Um, and as she's like backing away to like to the corner of the room, just like you know, trying to like get as much space from everybody else. The other sins are kind of just sitting there. Contemplating. Um, oh, yes. You notice, though, a bit of a blue light starting to appear. And it's starting to emit from Lady Orzov. Who is typically more calm and collective majority of the time. However, her hair, who is a bit more of a darker blue, is starting to lighten up a pigment. And it has a bit more of a flame-like energy starting to emit. And you're starting to all feel a bit of an intense heat coming from this from, from the side of the table. You notice the other sins. Yo, it's kind of chilly. Bruh. <sighs> trying to, I'm trying to have a bit of a serious morning. What the fuck? Anyways. You notice the other sins. 
kind of look towards her like, uh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, God. Lord Nazaroth looks to you all and he says, If you will please excuse us for a moment, we will be back as soon as we can. Uh, he gets up, goes and walks to Lady Kaz. She's like, no, no, please don't. She, he touches her, her, he grabs her shoulder, and they teleport out of the room. The others grab each other's shoulders, especially Lady um, Orzoth. Orzoth? Did I say that right? Just or. Yeah, Orzoth, sorry. Um, and they teleport out of the room. And you're left there with Sunset, who is... Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. You know, just, you know, already stressing Feels out. just as threatened. Yeah, feels just as threatened, but, you know, he's kind of glad it's not towards him at the moment, but then once they left, he went, oh no. I'm stuck in a room with these people. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> we all just start turning towards <laughs> him. Just, <laughs> towards sunset. Oh, I, I was just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just expecting. We all just have like the, the red eye glow, just like you see all the <laughs> red and we all just menacingly start moving closer. Like, no, we like, all have no the... sense of just getting bigger, just closer. We have all the red eye gleams and like the triggered memes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh my god. Chase knows what's up. <laughs> um. Uh. <laughs> no. Continue. As he is sensing this this aura of death, just death at this point. Like there's nothing else to describe it. Just just death emitting from you all. He says, "I'm going to step out as well, and I personally also don't want to get my ass beat when it's not even my fault. So I'm going to leave you all here. You're going to be fine. There's more food here if you need it. Uh, take the time to commune with one another. Anyways, bye bye, and just snap. Don't go far. Nope. No, he's already he's already gone." Nope, no, no, no. No? I have questions, <laughs> god damn it. No, no, they're they're all gone. One very big question. They're they're all gone. Just running off there. <laughs> just running. <laughs> Mage hand and everything just coming off to Sunflower. Sunset, god damn it. No, so now you guys are in a room left by yourselves with the remaining pages of the poem. Now. Before we read them, I want to ask each of you how your character is feeling again. So we're going to. Uh, oh shit! I need a. I need a. Duh. Render. Don't mind me as I'm setting up things on the side because I'm a dum dum. Yo, smokies are kind of good. Have you okay? A dumb question that's going to get sidetracked, but have you ever quote unquote tried to smoke Smarties? I knew that was going to be the fucking question. <laughs> okay. As a kid, yeah. Yeah, like, so you like crush them up and then pretend you're smoking them? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. What? Snort. Smoke? Snort. No, snort is a different story. Zero! Oh, wait, you used to what? do what? I did it once, regretted it, never did it again. Well, yeah, that shit would hurt. That being that's... said, I did that to salt. <laughs> ah! <laughs> My nose bled the entire day. I fucking wonder why. <laughs> okay, I've never like snorted anything. I'm not. That and it's dumb. not like a, it's not fine salt, by the way. Huh. That was crystal I salt. So. Friend <laughs> that, that snorted <laughs> was that like uh, ramen seasoning yeah, packets. Why? <laughs> why? He was at school too. Because he was a dumbass. All right. I knew a guy who ate put. Like, you know that, um, or, you know, like, glue sticks? Like, <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. He ate that God. thing. And I'm like, what the fuck? All right. We're going to move on before I actually just have a mental breakdown from all this stupid <laughs> shit. Granted, I'm the one like, that brought it yeah. up, but holy shit. Yeah. Shut you up. opened up the Pandora's box. I, I did, and normally I'm the one that causes the chaos, but damn. Not Listen, today. Listen, we're all chaotic. It's we're true. all chaotic. That's true. All that is true. Um, and we, we surround ourselves with chaotic people. And then it just Even if worse. our characters aren't chaotic, we are. 
So yeah. it bounces. Well, um, our alignment isn't somehow. Eh, that's true. Uh, anyways, back on track. Never mind. Like mine is chaotic good, so. Bruh. Fuck. Fair enough. Right. Mine isn't. I'm going to do that. Uh, Fidger and pick a number between one through four. One to four? Yeah, pick a number. Uh, one and a half. You son of a bitch. So just, he goes one. He gets one. Okay, you're getting no, one. one of all. Nope, you're, you're getting one. You can't getting, do this to me. You're getting one and you like it, motherfucker! Chase, pick a number between two and four. Uh, three. Fisk. A number between four. Thank you. All right, so the number I rolled was fucking two. <laughs> <laughs> All so right. That that means you go. No, I'm just re-rolling. All right. The so, goddamn it. <laughs> that, uh, it's just as easy as that, truly. Now, Paige, how oh, is your okay. character feeling right now? Uh, like I said, I I think. A lot of the time, Paige expresses her emotions in, like, very loud ways. Mm -hmm. But, like, mm -hmm. this time, I think it's very much a eye-wink slow burn mm -hmm. uh, with her emitting the scent of literally, like, just a burning forest. Like, she is Lit? fucking oh. pissed. <laughs> Get out, please. <laughs> no. All bad. right. Bye, everybody. I guess it's the end of this session. My bad. Bye. Uh, no more um, no more information. She is absolutely fucking furious right now. Because not only could have this, could this have helped them in the long run, but also, like, knowing the information and everything, we would have known to like not just like try and capture in, uh, Nikita instead of just trying to kill her like everything us not getting told is really like settling in and she's just like fucking pissed because we were supposed to be able to have we were the ones looking for information that they already fucking had well okay they didn't know that or at the least rest cast yeah. yes there you go All right, Fisk. How's your character feeling? He is absolutely livid. He is basically borderline, just like clenching his fists, just to the point where, like, it it looks like his veins are about to pop out from the front. Mm -hmm. As he's just like his face is just actively changing, just remembering. The the two fellow college students, Alina, Arrington, and the the ranger that died. Peace. Uh, Alina Arrington. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even remember the ranger's name. That's that's kind of how significant Heath. he really was. Heath. Heath. His name was Heath. Heath. I have a ran down. Thank Heath. you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't have it in front of me, so that's why. I'm a yeah. I'm a pretty bad. I don't. Dude. I just I remember it. I, I remember. I have it written down. You I remember know. because you fucking polymorphed him into fucking uh, Cynthia <laughs> And I ruined your whole entire plan immediately. <laughs> well, kinda, kinda not. It's great. I was able to work You're around like, it. Chase ruined my plan, but I was able to make the session longer because of it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> sense. Anyways, uh, continue unless that was all Fisk. Uh, no, he, he like he's just like he's. Also, borderline while like while he has a clinch quest, like he's like he's like just holding back the his patron's power of just like wanting to from earlier, just wanting to just immediately cast any spell available to him at the uh, sloth mm -hmm. for not giving them the information that they needed. Mm -hmm. Because he, he spent a good portion of the time there in the library, in their library, trying to see if he can get anything on the 5th. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he couldn't find that one book, apparently, that she has 
just angers him to his very core. It wasn't a book. Uh, it was just she had the rest of the poem. That is all. Okay. Just want to clarify. Sidrum. Okay. Oh, is there anything else? Sorry. No, no, no. That was it. All right. Yes. How is your character feeling? Right now, not what these two are. Mm-hmm. And what well, that would do. He's picking up the uh, every uh, <coughs> the notes individually and inspecting them. He's feeling very inquisitive at the moment. Mm, okay. As he's more focused on the poem than anything else. All right. That being said, we're gonna read the poem he, out loud, everybody. So don't get yeah, no. Too but he's just doing like an odd like while well, these two are busy with their little fuming parade <laughs> and the scent <laughs> of burning forest being like weirdly welcomed i don't know he mm, it smells like <clears throat> home Bruh. Yo, it smells like home literally Bruh. it's a breath of fresh air for me <laughs> it's a memory i long forgot it's one of those scents that are like very like oddly familiar you don't know where it's from but you're like yes this is oh, this developed my childhood yeah exactly exactly <laughs> But he does whisper Lord <clears throat> Mazaros' name and ask how long are they going to take. Um, you whisper it and you get a mental message back saying this might take a few minutes so please convene amongst yourselves and if necessary or not, and if you want of course go ahead and read the poem and but please give us a moment that was a lot to take in for if we all were not necessarily aware of everything she's done mm. <clears throat> that being said he stands up mm-hmm. he's gonna have these two first calm down before he does anything. Okay. So he's just taking a look around the room. Uh, the room is pretty bland. It is literally just lights, a round table with chairs, and like there's a there's like another side table that does have like some snacks and drinks needed for anybody there that needs it or wants it, I should say. He's just gonna get a drink then. Okay. Go and get a drink. Um, do the two of you do anything besides just sit there and seethe in the moment? I'm pacing around in circles. Okay. Hmm. Uh, Fisk? He, he, he's just still standing there now, just seething in the anger. It's, it's gonna, gonna take a moment. He, he's, he is not happy in the slightest. He will not be calming down anytime soon. You don't sound like you're even happy in real life about this information. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> like I said, if she wasn't coming clean, she'd be getting an Eldritch Blast to the face. <laughs> Bro, since you're gonna be the, casting the, Max Level <laughs> over. Since oh. she's the fucking sin of sleep, he'd be putting her asleep and then slapping her awake. <laughs> Hi, Allison. Huh? How yeah. big is the room? Um, How tall is the room? Oh no. <laughs> the room is not very tall, and the room is not that big. It would be. All right, I fully want a bones of earth her into the ceiling. Oh, so like <laughs> the room is not that tall and not that big. Like, oh, the... I know. If you put a bones of earth below somebody and it hits the ceiling, they get damaged. Oh, okay. Uh, she's she's not <laughs> she's in like there, so like she's yeah. not in there, so. <clears throat> oh, I know. <laughs> How do I dodge this? <laughs> yeah, they would take uh, like five d six bludgeoning damage. <laughs> God, I hope you all already. <laughs> Oh, I forget how big is the pillars. Like, with is there any saving throw? It's all—it's only five feet, but I can have six of them. 
Oh, oh god, oh god. So I would just send them all around her. So well, like, she would okay, have to so make, room... like, six deck saving throws. Well, the room itself is, like, kind of, like, ten by ten. And then the height wise Yeah, so, like, it, yeah, it's a ten by ten room. Again, it's not, it, it's not very big. And then, um, and then height wise it'd be, like, about, like, seven, eight feet tall. So, like, mm. you know, it's supposed That's to be, like, an r- average room. Okay, the ten by ten, um... Is very very small bowels. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ten by ten feet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I said small room. Quick question: <clears throat> What are these pillars made of? Earth. 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 It's literally like ground. Earth. They erupt ground something. and stone. Oh, but okay. they're you're not in a grounded area where they would most likely activate though. You're in a different plane of existence essentially. So you're just breaking the building now. <laughs> yeah. Um, There's some dirt on the ground. <laughs> the it doesn't say that it has to be like. Yeah, it doesn't. It, it literally just says uh, six pillars of stone burst from the places on the ground that you would hit. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because I thought. Can it, I react to you're... this? <laughs> oh, well. How I imagine it is like just a circle of ground that comes up. But yeah. I guess. That's well, the way you're describing it was my... like from like the actual ground itself. Like, you know, whole fucking earth bending shit. You actually are using the ground. And I'm like. Well, that, that, that is what a druid is, really, is, like, they, they just, they the use the, the area around. <laughs> Sorry. So, I still need to understand, can I just react to this? <laughs> I, are you doing this? Are you casting this page? No. No, okay. I'm just saying, if... Mm. Alright, alright. Because <sighs> if it wasn't that, I was fully gonna do, like, a 7th level call lightning. Do uh. it! Do it! The balls! I don't think Paige does. No, balls. if if the room was big enough, that's why I asked for the room, <laughs> how mm-hmm. big the room is, because yeah. it has to be like, oh, yeah, small it has to be at least ten feet tall. Yeah, no. And no. here I am sitting here with stone shape and other things, so I could just phase through the stone. Why are you stopping me? <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, we continue forth. Mm. Um, a few moments pass by. Allowing each other, like, allowing everyone to potentially calm down. I say potentially, I don't necessarily mean it will. And what I mean by a few moments, like, a good five, ten minutes pass. After that, how do your characters feel? Still seething? Um, instead of, like, a burning forest, I now, like, I'm now emitting the scent of like a thunderstorm. Ooh. So instead of like seething rage, it's it's still bad, but it's it's yeah, it's, it's calm. Still, yeah, yeah. And thank you, Sinketsu, for the re. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> even though it's like not done by anybody else, but it's still kind of funny. Um, Fidrim, how does your character feel after some time has passed? Oh, he's contemplating. Oh, on what? Unless well, you can't share just one. yet. Wait, one? I said unless you can't just share just yet. No. Oh, <clears throat> you're just continue. contemplating. Okay. But no, you should more of just thinking mm-hmm. how to continue this. Mm. Me and him both. I mean, um, shit, I should say this <laughs> to the end. Uh. <laughs> um, that being said, the room is small. Uh, it's just <clears throat> he's just gonna pour in a drink for them because mm-hmm. he knows there's gonna be a strong drink in there that there's definitely a very strong drink in there oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you don't have to look far it's like 
it's right yeah. near where the water is at that point. There's vodka right next to it. So, like, easy mix up. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo, oh, wait yeah. a minute. What else is there? Anything you can imagine. Non alcoholic, I promise. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> but anything you imagine is there. Anything? Yes, anything. There's even a shaker. Yep. Hey, Lord Mazarov, he comes ready. <laughs> he comes ready and prepared. You say, hey, I want a drink. He's like, hey, I'll bet. And he, he opens up his fucking jacket, and like a fucking bar p- just appears out of the fucking jacket, and he's ready to go. <laughs> he is. He's, oh, a, he's literally a walking bar tender at this point. Anyways, sorry. Five o'clock somewhere in the world. <laughs> exactly. And he's like, if it's not, I'll make it five o'clock now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what it is. But anyway, he's just gonna make a drink for the two. Okay. What do you make? Mm. And mm? how do you bake? What it? he's making? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> oh. Let me pop up my recipes here real quick. Do you really have recipes ready to fucking go now? Do you fucking yeah. really? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> he's like, guys, I came prepared. I came already. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> what would I take? Ah, let's go with this one. <laughs> We're doing a tequila sunrise. Uh huh. Jeez. <laughs> what 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 does this entail? Like, what kind of kind of stuff is in it? Hmm. <laughs> Did you just say, mm-hmm? right. like, bro, you have it right in front of you. <laughs> no, Read it no, off. That was me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right oh. Here. I didn't say me. Oh, oh, I, just I said, thought that hmm. was him. I no, went, hmm. that was that was me. <laughs> My yeah. bad, I'm anyway. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right, so basically it's a tequila. Orange juice. Or... Yeah, we're just going to go with orange juice. Definitely mm-hmm. there is. There's orange slices. They better be. Bro, they better be an orange right there. Yeah, I told you. Anything you think of, it's there. This right, man don't fool around. Conjures. Yeah, like like you think of it and it's right there. Well, at least when it comes to food but, and yeah. So basically, he's just items. there putting an ice into the shaker, mm-hmm. taking orange juice and tequila, mixing it in there, and he's just beginning to like shake, like wait, like actually properly shaking it, just mm-hmm. sitting there for like twenty seconds. Then. <clears throat> And then he's gonna start just bring up a glass and then pour it in. So if it's not like high glasses, these are gonna like be medium glasses because he's not gonna entertain both of them. This is just to like bring back the senses. Mm-hmm. Yes, because um, alcohol is the thing to bring back senses. Yes, yes it is, yeah. my good friend. <laughs> Definitely. It is now. <laughs> I like this idea. It's, hey it's guys, everybody. I'm out of my senses. Yeah. Can I get some alcohol? It is when you're in a rage. <laughs> <laughs> You're raging, drink a cup, just drink a beer, my guy. Uh huh. Everyone's a barbarian when they drink alcohol. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm sorry, who? See, that's what keeps them calm. Everyone's a barbarian they never... when they drink alcohol. No, but, but, no, listen to Bet. me. Barbarians are calm when they drink alcohol. The moment you take away the alcohol, they start getting angry. Yeah, because it's their calming effect. Yeah, you understand now. See, si, see. Si. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, anyways, continue. <laughs> Anyway, <clears throat> he just so he picks up a spoon, flips it upside down just to have like the back of the spoon, and then he takes like a small bit of grenadine. Grenadine? Yeah. How do you pronounce it? Grenadine. 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 So it's grenadine, so it's a syrup, which is grenadine. Yeah. Okay. And he slowly pulls it over. <clears throat> uh, fuck, are they even in cocktail toothpicks? Probably. There's most definitely. The Anything cherries? you think of. Yeah, definitely. Right. He places that. He does that, sticks it through like the um, through the orange slice just so it's in place. Or the orange slice is placed nicely on the side of the 
<clears throat> like on the rim of the glass. With that, he does top it off with a bit of ice. More shaved ice than anything else. Mm -hmm. And then just presents both drinks to them. And then he just rests his arms like on top of the table while his hands are basically um, held in front of his mouth with his thumbs just holding up his head. Mm. Right. Brooding stance. <laughs> Brooding, Brooding stance. Yeah. Like he's waiting. This is him just waiting for you. Uh, you guys have two drinks in front of you that Vidrim has made. What do you guys do? I take a small sip. Mm -hmm. It tastes it's... really good. <laughs> Just letting you know. He goes, he goes from flavor. making nothing to making everything good. Exactly. He's Bruh. tasted the spices finally. <laughs> He understands. <laughs> man yeah. understands spice. <laughs> man man, man spice. understands flavor now. Needs uh, more MSG. <laughs> more flavor. More flavor. More flavor. Uh, I, I give an appreciative nod as I, I start to relax a little bit more and just kind of lay back in my chair, just sipping my drink. Kind of like more in a, like a, a pouty kind of mood now, just like. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Continue. He just no, goes from. <laughs> he goes pouty. from red to like a pink. Just like a pink purple. No, no, he's, he's so still pouty. red. He's still very red. And the moment he sees <laughs> her again, it's gonna go right back up. <laughs> but he's. There's spells for this. <laughs> This is a very temporary change for him. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright. Paige, there's a drink in front of you that the drink is made. What are you doing? I'm, I, okay, I, I'm still pacing, and I see the drink come over and place the drinks down, and Fist picks up the drink, uh, seems to enjoy it, but I'm still very, very, still very, very pissed. Um, mm -hmm. So I walk over, get the drink, and um, I fully, like, shotgun the shit. <laughs> oh, no, no. oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> I slam the glass back down without breaking this it. This is not course. like a, a shot glass of tequila. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> I slam it back down without shattering the glass. I'm not inconsiderate. Um, no, shut up. could you make I a go back con to saving throw, please? I'm fine with that. Thank you. <laughs> That's a... a 22. Alright. You shotgun this fucking drink. All to hell. Like, like you look like you... Norm you're like the type of person who wouldn't normally just chug a fucking drink like that, but you chug it back with ease and you don't like feel a sense of nausea of like, <laughs> wait a minute, that was a bit much. And you continue going back and pacing. I go back to pacing and now the scent that I'm giving off is now the scent of a uh, thunderstorm and a burning forest in one. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, just FYI, the drink did taste good, but you didn't really get a good savory flavor, so... Okay, a as I'm walking back <laughs> to my pacing, I just give <laughs> Phaedrum a thumbs up. <laughs> 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 the most confusing thumbs Just... <laughs> I can just see, like, a really, like, a very energetic thumbs up, like, very angry-faced energetic thumbs up and he just continues on with pacing. Is anyone else just seeing like the very intense like Jojo face and just a thumbs up right <laughs> <next> Yes! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you thought this would calm me out but it didn't, Domo! <laughs> Wait a second. Wait, I know which Jojo jo jo one. Oh no, you're gonna look oh, it no. up. Oh Aw, damn it. <laughs> uh, nevertheless, we're gonna continue you on. A few more minutes pass by. Eventually, 
sunset appears before you all on the other side of the table a bit further back than when he disappeared originally he quickly bows before you all he says I'm terribly sorry to interrupt and disappear like that however there was very urgent matters that needed to be attended to for things have occurred and I will share what they are here in a moment however uh, I was asked here to see if you guys are all, at, at the very least, doing somewhat okay. Like, you're, you're okay physically, I guess. I continue pacing. <gasps> okay. Uh, all it's right. a thunderstorm and still a burning forest okay. or burning woods. Um, is no, it's a burning <laughs> forest. <laughs> it's back to a burning forest now. No, it's, it's the it's it's, it's, it's the thunderstorm the and. <laughs> Burning forest. Is, is there a really weird smell going on here? Did, did something? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm sorry. I'm going crazy. Uh, my bad. That that's my fault. My bad. Uh, uh. But I'm here to see if there's anything you guys need while we are trying to get everything back in order. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I'm I'm so sorry. Is there anything? Uh, I don't do? know about them, but I I'm fine. Okay. Oh. And what about the other two? She, she is far from fine. <laughs> oh, kind, kind of figured, but I didn't want to. Say I stop my pacing and look at this. Oh. I I just I'm stare fine. at her. I found <laughs> I, f I found how um how Thank page you. down did. Hmm. <laughs> what? Sending it in general. Oh, oh my god. Anyways. Uh. I just take another sip of my drink and then I'm just kind of still fuming, but getting more and more laxed. Mm -hmm. no, I did have too. a question for you, though. Yes. So, you've contacts this entire time. Have they been our patrons here? <laughs> he looks down, very shy. Yes. I stopped pacing again. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. I couldn't tell you. I was under. I was under. I was. I'm sorry. It was mostly Lord Mazarov, but the yes. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't shoot the messenger, as they say. Yeah, yeah, he just anyway. gives Sunflower a very condescending smile. <laughs> he starts bawling. He's like, I'm so sorry! I can't! I'm, I'm just have things I didn't want to say! I can't do some things! I'm sorry! Do me a favor. Hmm? Yes. Considering we are doing most of the thing is no. Mm -hmm. we ended up doing mostly of the things. Even if they say that you're not allowed to, do share at least some tip with you. I will do what I can. But to If you need to put it in a indirect way, by all means that's fine. Uh, 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 let, let me let me explain. When I am mm. under oath I am under oath. Uh, Meaning I that if I well, that makes sense. deter, I could be severely harmed. Mm. I don't want to be harmed. So it's really personally nothing against you guys, but I'd rather not be hurt. It's fine. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so I'm I'm very sorry. I'm assuming this thing. They are still like flip, absolutely flipping out. Like, are you asking <coughs> sunset this? Still, yeah, it, no, it's, it's, <coughs> I'm asking a character. Is sunset still absolutely flipping out? Yeah, a little bit. I am going to, in a very sultry kind of voice, like, I'm going to cast suggestion and I'm mm -hmm. going to say, calm down. Yada, yada. Um, 
and since then he's in such a panic-stricken state, his his defenses are kind of down. Uh, he hears you say this. He says, <sighs> takes a deep breath. Okay, I am calmer now. For the moment. What is happening? <clears throat> hmm? Curious. Do you know where our patrons are? And I know they're gonna take a while. Yes. This meeting needs to go on. Yes. And sincerely, on behalf of them, they do apologize for how long it is taking. There is a reason why. There is. There is there's still a reason why. Lady Orzoth is the sin of wrath. And. Well, although, don't get me wrong, your anger is very much justified and just as bad. She kind of puts y'all to, you know, sin. So. They are trying to calm her down and not have her brutally beat the shit out of Lady Kaz. Or nearly kill her. As for entertaining her. as that would be, that would probably not be the best. It would not. Uh, so, they will be taking a bit of a short recess. In the meantime, if you'd like, you <sighs> can... In the meantime, I would suggest, if you guys are up for it, to read the poem and to discuss more information. For as far as I am aware, there isn't much more information that anyone can tell you. Well, this is all we know. Truthfully, this time. Unless we ask. Maybe slow. Yeah. Well, unless you think of any other things, <laughs> truthfully, we may not have that much more information but we can try truthfully mm -hmm. i know my words probably mean nothing and that is fine understandably mm. mm, are there it's... sorry go ahead i think <laughs> that I'm, I'm, I'm saying this out of character that okay. it's time that we we maybe read the poem I, I think we've shown yeah. how angry we are enough yeah I, I, I was trying to get there angry. I was trying to get there um, yeah, I'm waiting for everybody else yeah no 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 you're good um so we're finally gonna we're finally gonna do the the thingy the bomb so oh my god sorry Buh. <laughs> Um, yes, time to read the poem. So, after uh, conversing with you, Sunset says, I will bid thee more time amongst yourselves. Um, farewell. And then goes off again. Um, hmm. Fidrim, you'll be reading the first one. Um, <coughs> what? what the fuck? <laughs> you're going to be reading the first one because your character is in a calmer state of mind. Then Fisk afterwards will be reading it, and then Paige. Okay, so I want everyone. I don't think Paige is in any. Yes, but everybody will be reading for, you know, equal. <clears throat> so everybody, open it up and let me know when everyone, everyone's ready. Yes, mum. Bruh, don't you fucking <laughs> dare! Don't you fucking <laughs> dare! So we're reading three through five, correct? Yes. Yes. Um, are we three the entire, to five. Are we, are we each reading just like a verse of the poem for each one, or just going through? Um. So. Um, Fidrim will be reading all of th part three. You, okay. Fisk, will be reading all of part four, and Paige will be reading all of part five. Is that helpful? That makes yes. it more clear. Back to school. Yes. Well. <laughs> Don't give a damn. So, anyways, we 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 all on the page part three. No, yes, but yes. Ah! We all. Okay. 
and fissure. Calm down, jeez. No, I will not calm. <coughs> I'm not supposed to be calm. Go ahead, whenever you're ready. <sighs> All right. Hey, oh, let me sit down, please. I stand next to them. <sighs> as you, as you wish. <clears throat> The fourth. The fourth is connected uh, to the art of song and music, able to perform glamorous dances con connected to the scholar's might, leaving themselves a blaze sacrifice to the old glowing essay. The fifth awakens. He just like gives like a glance at that first. No, that's you. You, you read the entire. Uh... Just, yeah, no. no, 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 no. He's just giving you like a like a oh, glance, yeah. like bro. Bro, we're gonna sacrifice you. I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but yeah. Mm. The fifth infused with arcane, since birth, or awakened with the wild surge, leaves a trail of disaster or wonder in their wake. Akin with the lunar's power, the fifth is sacrificed in the young's obscurity. The tree's hidden presence begins Binding. to dwindle. Sorry, bindings. Presence. Binding presence begins to dwindle. Mm. The sixth presence is unlike the other twelve. Their mind is calm and their vigor balanced. As they are many, and as many they are one, flowing with the solar sh the solar's strength, the old must illuminate the darkness. The fifth con connection to hell crippled. Okay. Um, open up the fourth one. Unless you guys would like to discuss. Oh, you're a little twat. Hmm? I'm not little. No, there's only one little person. Right. Bruh, hold on. That's first. He's the shortest. I, I, I am the tallest out of all of us. <laughs> one moment, one moment. Before we continue the reading. One Sorry, moment. yeah, Paige is the shortest. Yeah. Alright. Is there anything you guys would like to discuss after reading that? Out of character, in character, either way. Um, I, I immediately noticed from the first verse as well, with a bedroom looking at me, and say this means someone who was a scholar most likely someone like me or akin to someone who uses more rhythmic like patterns to have to be sacrificed for this one a bard yeah <laughs> you can just straight up say the glass if you want anything else uh, the okay. second one is, I, I would say, is a sorcerer. Okay. The sorcerer is supposed to be born, or wild seeds kind of thing, where, with magic. Yeah. And then the last one, uh, would, I would say, a monk. That would probably be the most likely of them. Yeah. Okay. Um, Fidrim, do you have anything to say? <coughs> what do I have to say? No, no, no. Uh, no, I said, is there anything no, you, like, you want to say? <laughs> oh, out of character. Have... Out of character, in character, don't matter. Well, out of character, the last one is definitely a wizard. 
What? Is it? Hmm? The last one's a wizard? No way, Dumbledore. No. Fuck. Sorry, wait, no, that's a monk. Is it? No. Fuck. My brain isn't working. Please, don't exo work. Jesus Christ. Okay. Shut up, um, I don't know all the classes. This is my first D&D. True, true, true. All right. Um, we'll carry on to the next one. Fisk will be reading all of part four, okay? No. Um, before we continue, I do okay. want to hear about the theory. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. We all... Well, I am not sure if I've shared this, but both Sona and Luna... I'm sorry, say that again? ...presentations of the gender. The so <clears throat> Sona and Luna... Mm-hmm. Representations of the gender. Potentially. The sex. That is a theory that I have myself had for those. As those who were represented with the lunar were of the female sex, the other were of the male. Didn't Keith die during. No, he died during a soda. It was nighttime. The thing mentioned him as Sola still. It doesn't say that it has to die at night. He, they still die on a certain. Well, I mean, <clears> from, from still. or at least, I guess I have the information. I guess I wasn't able to tell you guys. It's supposed to go uh, for the killings. Can I at this moment? Can I? Uh, Relay the information that I learned from that book, Allison. Oh, yeah. So, the killings are with the moon phases. So, new moon mm. and all that stuff. Um, and the killings right. are supposed to go female, male, female, male. And it goes mm -hmm. back, back and forth, back and forth. From what you've seen the from the books, yeah. Yes. That's what it seems yeah. to be like. But, yes. And so far with the order that we have gone in so far, it was Elena and then it was Heath and then it was Nikita so female, male, female. Yeah. So it does hold merit then. It is. Yeah. Exist. <laughs> Alright. You ready to move on? Yes, I at least. Everybody else? Yes. Yeah. Alright, go ahead and continue reading, Fisk. The seventh is unskilled in the ways of the arcane, but this does not stop them, for they are adept to the blade that they wield. Forged in the kiln of battle, one filled with the lunar's moxie? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. <laughs> One filled with the lunar's moxie must be slain in the young ominous sky. Young's ominous sky. The remaining tethers grow thin. The eighth is filled with, with a righteous intent. A holy light shines upon them, leading them to their god's path. The fire of the solar's essence flows through their veins. Old pales, the old's pale gaze must shine upon this night. The fifth strength grows. The ninth embodies a primal emotion that others have lost the power to over time. A crimson vision fills their, fills their mind. All that is left is destruction and death. In contrast to their raging blood, the cooling calmness of the lunar luminance runs through their body. The young shows their onyx face. There is no turn back now. So. I'm going to correct myself real quick just to bump in. Yeah. The last one is a monk. Fuck you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it took my brain a moment. Okay. Leave me alone. So the first one is, at least what I'm getting from, is obviously a fighter. Mm hmm. Yeah. The the second one 
has room for interpretation, obviously, for a paladin or a cleric. More paladin than bard, maybe. Yeah. And then, and then, the last one is <laughs> is is definitely a barbarian. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a wizard. Mm. So oh. fuck y'all talking about. <laughs> Hell yeah, it's a <laughs> barbarian wizard. Bitch, where? Yo, isn't there actually a path for barbarians so they can be a caster? Yeah, like, mm. I think there is like a little bit, but it's not a it's, lot. It's more like they they have like a little mini option. They basically use totems to. Mm-hmm. They basically oh, do, no, do a shaman that. thing. <laughs> but zero, a raging sorcerer. Mm. Well, he- here's the thing about raging: is you lose the ability to cast spells. So yeah. <laughs> nah. That is a, that is a rule. It's fine. In the it's fine. It's in the D and D book. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. All right. Would you guys like to make any other comments referring to this portion of the poem? No. No. Okay. Then we will continue. I I I, I was actually a uh, a little bit. I, I did almost originally think the last poem was going to be maybe about the Blood Hunter uh, class for a second, but I'm just like, no. There's not blood. enough anything about anything about curses or anything like that, because that is what a Blood Hunter is. <laughs> All their magic is based around curses. Mm-hmm. Is that an yeah. official class? No, yep. it's not. It is actually. It's, it's not in the 5e. It's, it's critical okay. role. It's, it's not, critical yeah. role. But it is officially it's in not in the five E. Yeah, funny. I think it's gonna be in the newer book. It's already out. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's been out for a while. It's now. in. It's in D and D Beyond, but right now, well, I know that I think Wizards of the Coast is buying D and D Beyond because it wasn't actually like. They weren't actually partnered or anything like that. They had license, mm. is what they did. Yeah. Yeah. So technically, Blood Hunter isn't like a Wiz- Wizards of the Coast official official class. It's not like a in a book or in, or in like a is. campaign. Um, not quite. If you look at D and D Beyond, they even have it like as a separate thing as well. Mm-hmm. Funny enough, uh, yeah, the class that was... you think that's actually part of the entire classes is artificial. Yeah, because that one's in a. Uh, it's not in the the normal. Uh, oh god, I forgot what the book's called. But it's not in like the D and D five E book. It's in a separate like campaign book. Mm-hmm. A separate module. Yeah. Right. Are we all good with this part now? Yes. yes. We ready to continue? Hopefully. Yes. Okay. Open up part five and let me know when y'all are ready. 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 Alright. Page read, uh, read whenever you're ready. The tenth is known for their virtuous virtuous path. Curing and mending those back to health, gifted with their god's radiance, their soul intertwined with the solar's zeal. The old's visage glimmers after twilight, the fifth stirs. The eleventh hides in the shadows of the world, light on their feet and quick with their hands. Their soul is potent in the lunar's light. The young lusters through dusk till dawn, the time is near. The twelfth is brilliant in mind and arcane. A focus is needed to manifest their will into this plane. The weapon they wield is that of knowledge. The beating heart pumps with the solar's blaze. The old leaves are bright splendor on the witching hour. The fifth is free. Alright. Um, I would say number one would have to be cleric. Yeah, and so number eight would have to be paladin. Yeah. Um the eleventh one rogue. Um rogue. and then <laughs> the only one left, but also makes sense is uh, the twelfth would be a wizard. So that's the barbarian. 
on the turf yelling. Okay, <laughs> listen here, you little. <laughs> what? Well, no, it makes sense. You see, their 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 axe is a focus. Exactly. They focus on putting in respect. Honestly, and their knowledge, and the knowledge that they wield, is that of just die, just fucking die. Hit it enough, and it'll fucking die. Yeah. Yeah. So it works. It's great. Sorry. Oh shit. Alright. Is there anything else you guys would like to make a comment about? About that last bit or just overall as characters? I I just want to know how we're gonna find a goddamn rogue. <laughs> how everyone's gonna find a goddamn rogue, actually. Bro, what if There's that, a reason what, they're called rogues? No, but <laughs> you're a, what if that rogue is wearing purple. Oh my god. See, see, the rogue you don't find. The rogue finds you, and you don't know when they do. Yeah, especially if it's when they do, purple. they're usually picking from my purse. <laughs> Fist you have a purse? a purse. That makes oh wait, sense, you're the honestly. only person with money. <laughs> Oh, yo. You're not the only person with money. I also have money. I have a job. You all have jobs? What's that? <laughs> You're the broke real. bitch out of all of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some of just that good. Got an no. entire outfit for free. It was a pity Sorry. outfit. I was always a pity outfit. It was a pity outfit. Oh, my God. It Honestly, was a pity on for going, fuck yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. Um, but nonetheless. Luck favors the bold. Oh my god. Anyways, do you guys have any other comments about the poem? Out of character. Out of character? Yes. I'm just gonna have Paige constantly tell me what the... The what everything is. is the night, yeah. The night, all <laughs> that's all the rest. I understand the night. I suck with the, with the moon cycles. Plus, you didn't enjoy it, so makes sense. Yeah, I know. yeah, I should know them. Mm -hmm. Me, as a person, don't know them as well, but <laughs> that's what Google is fine. We, we use the DM, you the druid, and then we just use you to use the DM. Simple. Bruh. It all works out. <laughs> it all works out. Work you. Oh. It's like a cycle. <laughs> Alrighty. Anyways, now, is there any comments you would like to make as in-game characters after reading all of this? I need to double check my really fast. Alright. That's a lot of people. Or no, not. He said that was a lot of people in his fit room. Uh, oh my god. Bro, he's not the socialist on Perth. Cool people. Like, this uh -huh. gathering right here is like the biggest gathering he's had in. <laughs> he, he did only hang out with like a like a small animal and basically a hobo not too long ago and that was like <laughs> his equivalent of like hanging out with bro Big before, before, and Paige. <laughs> before uh what's his name died he, he hanged out with a lot more bigger animals oh yeah, yeah. oh wait 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 i just said i thought i just had a thought oh, no. the oh, no. old man and the poro <laughs> was just fist <laughs> and Paige. Transport. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. The fist was the old man, and then I, I did. No! And then I, I did the Dorot twist. Or, uh, <laughs> no! I cast Fireball no! at the sixth level. I cast Counterspell. <laughs> How could you do that I to Bobble the Goblin and George the Boro? How could you do that? Uh, I don't know. That's just what came up to mind. And it Kind of makes sense to me. Yeah, you just hear you just hear a bow in the back. Into a poro. What, what's their CR rating? Oh my! <laughs> At least their rating is probably fucking low. No, no, the, the, the AC, you... a, um, 
Do you AC not remember what, how what, what Roger ate? Roger ate a eleven foot elk, basically. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he does have a point. <laughs> The power of Poros in my games are tremendous. <laughs> no, but if you look at League of Legends, oh. Poros can just fucking extend the jaw. I know. I, I know. <laughs> they also just get bigger like than whatever they eat and eventually just explode into more Poros. So, it's, yeah. you know, that's a... Yeah. <laughs> um, Poro anatomy is weird. No, I it just, doesn't uh, need to make sense. It just needs to work, and it does. Honestly, the only thing Final <laughs> Stick fears is Poros. I believe it. <laughs> because what what is a Poro gonna fear? No more food. On, let's be honest. Yeah, no, no. no more food. No more Poro. What happens nice. when a Poro eats another Poro? All right, we're not gonna divulge into this. I think, uh, this I think that it creates a black hole. We're no, we're gonna Poromodia. we're going to move on from this discussion. We're getting a bit sidetracked Poromodia. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, we need more yeah. Poros. Back on to what I was originally trying to do. Yes. I, I I look at the first verse of the of the third page and I just kind of go like I think I am in danger. Might be a little bit. I'm in trouble. danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. Because <laughs> both of you are <laughs> technically, yeah. <laughs> both of you are solar bitches. <laughs> I look at them both. <laughs> and I'm just I'm just like. I, I didn't want to remark on it. I didn't want to remark on it because now she knows. Now all DM knows. I, so, I already knew. I think she already fucking knew. I already knew. And this was planned way ahead. <laughs> I, I want to be, I wanna be blunt with you guys, too. I already knew, but I already had this all planned out way ahead of time. So I just find this even more amusing. <laughs> I, I'm the only one. <laughs> I made the right decision. I made the right decision. I made a druid because a druid was already killed. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, you know what? I, I'm going to be chilling. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But the other two, hmm. <laughs> now I need to babysit their asses. I'm sorry. Who's babysitting who <laughs> right now? Technically me ba babysitting you all now. Nonetheless. Where? <laughs> no! No! Oh, hell no. Clip it. Uh, clip it. Uh, somebody, for the love of God, clip that shit. Clip it. Swear to God. I... <laughs> Somebody clipped that one too. Just clip this whole fucking moment at this point. Jesus Christ. Dan, it's your turn. <laughs> no, please. Please don't do it. I know. Get wrecked. Oh. Like, please, no. No. I beg of you, please. Who the fuck? Uh, no. Just no. I request a clipping. There you go. Anyways. Wait. <laughs> um, after sitting there, and we're going to just assume that you guys were technically talking about this just a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Some more time passes. Eventually, Lord Mazaroth appears before you all. He says, "My sincerest apologies again for the long wait. I do not believe the rest of the sons." will be able to join us for the rest of this meeting due to trying to keep back Lady uh, Orzoth. Orzoth, yes, yes. She will and be... Lady Kaz? Lady Kaz has been put into... Um, into timeout? <laughs> essentially, yes. Into a space of timeout where she could be safe and no one can harm her but where also she cannot leave and do anything else I understand you must have more questions for her and we will get there mm -hmm. in due time please do not forget them we will discuss them more as a group after everyone has hopefully calmed down and come to a bit more of a level headedness I understand emotions are up high, and everything was just dropped like a bombshell, and it went off with a really big bang. But we need to be calm if we wish to continue forward, for our enemy doesn't understand 
we know all this and there as you can see he gestures to the papers here in front of you all as you can see there's a lot more work to be done we don't know who the next executioner will be and we don't know what they have in store we do understand that Doreen does have a bit of a a list of names of potential names of people they might go after and they might do that however as you can see as well they could go for about anybody that fits those word that those marks about anybody so he looks to both mm -hmm. Fisk and Fidra you both need to be very careful and cautious because for all you know you could be maxed and I would personally rather that not happen uh, that's a very fake shock <laughs> Yeah. Who, me? Why me? I would never. Nevertheless. Anyway, that being said, um, Fitra quickly looks like if the two finished their drinks. I know Paige has finished. Uh, Fisk, have you yeah. finished your drink? By now? My my drink is finished. Like, mm -hmm. when, I, when I saw the first bit from the <laughs> from the first note... <laughs> You start get, drinking uh, heavily. Yeah, no, I just start going like, <laughs> like all right, I don't have enough alcohol for this shit. Okay. Yep. That being said, um Fedra was just gonna sneakily try and take those glasses away. Okay. Um yeah. roll stealth. Or sleight of hand. Yeah. We'll do that. Sleight of hand. Reason. And you know, uh we'll give it advantage against those two since they are a bit more intoxicated. Not heavily, but you know. I am still going to try and counter this. All right, go ahead. Page is heavily, uh, heavily <laughs> uh, Paige, you can also I mean, it, as well, if you want. It's not in my hand. It's uh, I shotgun that shit and then place it down. I don't care. <laughs> I so because I just have like a tight grip on it. I'm like, yeah. So you don't have to slide up and mine. You right. can just take mine. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Okay, I roll. Yep, you roll, uh, but yeah. with advantage. Where's my? There we go. Against um, Fedrin here. Here, Fisk. Sorry, fuck. Uh, do you just want me to roll a straight thing, or do I counter with the sleight of hand? I get a 15. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was that one. Ooh, the guy you had took it. Well, I mean, he would have gotten the 15 originally, but... I know, but still. Um, so... Yo, day. I, I wish you luck against my natural 18, but I have a plus 11 to sleight of hand. Oh my god! <laughs> love it, love it. Um, so I'm just like I, I see <laughs> why haven't you still <laughs> stolen anything how did you fail last <laughs> no I can steal technically whatever I want I just didn't steal it because I didn't steal the book from Doreen originally because I had a bad Fair feeling enough. about the book just sitting there <laughs> and I mean I guess you were right I'm just gonna have you steal more stuff no? oh my god Yeah. Um, well it's also it would have been better well if we as... both were there. Because yeah. you could have as... slayed a panda and then I could have given pass without cherries. Oh, yeah. As well as, you know, my, my entire backstory is I, I want to be, you know, on the stage very doing best. magic tricks. <laughs> he wanted oh. to be the very best. I have a set of playing oh, cards wow. that have little things on them to make it so it looks like I'm doing magic tricks. So sleight of hands is kind of my Making biggest stat. Slide out of my chest. Second of deception. All, <laughs> all right, back on topic. Um, mm -hmm. Fidrum takes the cup that's on the table that was originally Pages, and he goes to try to sneakily get it away. Uh, get the cup from Fidrum's hand. Fails tremendously for, or sorry, Fisk's hand. Fuck. Fails tremendously. And trying to take it out of his hand as quietly and as unnoticed as possible. For Fisk sees it, sees Fidrum doing it, and uh, Fisk also like accidentally touches Fid uh, or Fidrum accidentally touches Fisk's hand. Why do you both have fucking Fs for the first of your fucking names? God <laughs> fucking damn it! it, it it's re it really is. <laughs> Holy it's not shit! The worst. It's F I as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> P five four one motherfucker. God damn it! 
<laughs> because I secretly want to become the the big bad guy from uh, Daredevil. <laughs> Why oh, do you think my name's Fisk? My God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sense, nevertheless, though. how do you respond, Fisk, as Fidrin? I, I just kind of stare at him, just like the fuck you want. If you want it, you can just. Ask. Your glass is empty. <laughs> I kind of like look in there, just check and see if it's absolutely empty. Take a quick sip of it, lap to get anything extra out of it. Waste not. <laughs> and then I hand it to every him. like last droplet. He like takes everything else. Just looks like in space, everything will for like a magnifying glass. Just. <laughs> um, you take away the drinks, and where do you take them to? I'll just take it back. Another one, please. <laughs> um. <sighs> Fine. Uh. Lord Mazaroth says, hold on, no no more drinks for now. I, I, I applaud you for making them, and they looked fantastic. Good job. I am proud of you. However... Spying with us? Maybe. However. Um, <sighs> I believe we will have to conclude the meeting here, for it has gotten quite late in the normal realm, and I believe you all need some time to think about your next course of action we will be here still trying to rein in the ladies and we will give you more information as time goes you all have phones yes mm -hmm. yes so sunset will be getting sending you more text messages with more information if that's okay with you all and please do be a bit more mm. calmer with me or not with me sorry with him he has gone through it quite a bit. He's been put through quite a lot. He is just the messenger. If you have anyone to be more upset with, please be upset with me. No, oh, I'm not at all upset with him. Well, I, I, I do notice when his anxiety levels go up through the roof. Because uh, it's very potent energy that could be felt from just about fucking anywhere. Swear to God. I, I don't understand how he's still alive half the time, but you know what? I'm glad he still is. Nevertheless, I will teleport you all to your respective places of home, housing, and please rest well. We will. Uh, <clears throat> with that, um, can you t want to teleport me to the library? Here or at St. Helena? things to do, yes. Alright. Here. Um, where would the other two of you like to go? Uh, to my greenhouse. Okay. And Mr. My Azariah? hand's kind of shaking, and I kind of just look up at him and go like, I don't know what's hmm? best for me to go home. Would you like and to say that? possible while because I, I i point towards the third poem and the first verse and i'm go like i am a potential target here that is true and however i will rest assured for you they will not be able to attack you for at least a few days or a couple weeks i know that may not sound reassuring but you're allowed to stay here if you'd like okay they don't potentially need to attack, they just need to kidnap and hold prison. That is true, I forget how barbaric some people are sometimes. Um... Killing is not barbaric. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, killing is, don't get me wrong. I never said it wasn't. It truly is just a waste of time and energy, in my humble opinion. However, yes, we will provide a place for you here and you will have uh, a chance to teleport back home whenever you want with an escort if you'd like to pick up some clothing and personal items and bring back here if that's all right with you but for now we will get you a place here all right um, i'm assuming you're all ready a, hmm? just someone to possibly keep an eye on pete the others at well home 
Of course, we can do that as well. That's the very least we could do after putting you guys through so much. All right. Anything else? Um, <clears throat> would it be possible to procure a list of both Academy students? Mm -hmm. I mean, all of them. Should be simple enough to do, yes. Is At this true? current moment, probably not. If you give us a little bit of time, we can do that. Of course. Take your time. Thank you very much. All right. Enough time is dawdled. Off with you all to get much needed rest or recovery for whatever you may need. Um, snaps his fingers. You all feel as an urge as you push through space and time to your respective areas. Um, Fidrim, you're back in the library at the. Oh. At at, at the main desk where normally Lady Oldest would be, so you would know where to go and which direction to go in to go wherever you need. Paige, you're back in the greenhouse. Um, you notice your plants. They kind of... They tremble underneath the smell that you're emitting, but they also are trying to calm you as well as they do understand a some type of angry energy surrounding you. Um, and... This, you're teleported to a very simple room with a bed and uh, like a dresser drawer. There's a desk there as well, or not dresser. There's a closet and such. There's a desk there as well, and then there's another like two doors. One door would lead to the bathroom, and the other would lead down like a hallway where there's other types of rooms. Presumably, other types of rooms like that. Uh, very comfortable but minimalistic. You all stay where you're at and recover for. Um, um, like you all stay there for a few moments of time thinking about everything and that's where we're going to end the session right here right here, right wow. now yeah, you want to do it huh? magic magic, magic, magic is a wonderful thing fantasy is a wonderful thing mm -hmm. um, but yeah so we ended yep, uh, for this session, we've ended it okay, sure I've got an idea oh no, no. <laughs> nope. Already a bad idea. <laughs> Finish right, your ahead. polymorph. This one. Oh no. Why? Why did he need to do Bamboozle that? Bamboozle him. What? We bamboozle him properly. Oh, oh, so he's gonna polymorph himself? I don't have polymorph. <laughs> no, it's I also genuinely make just a polymorph one. I mean, like in the sense, like of a staff, the polymorph version of the staff of Uber. Oh, <laughs> you understand? Zal can just in quotes make his own self a woman. <laughs> then you can't be angry. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, we're gonna stop that train of my thought there, at least for the stream. <laughs> you guys need to do that afterwards. Uh, do you guys want to say anything at the very end? Say uh, besides saying goodbye, stuff like that. Any other final words? Uh, no, wait, don't do drugs. Animals. Drink responsibly. No, dude. No. And if you're a winner, have do a drugs. wonderful rest of your time. Who's your name? Um, it's uh, uh, go out party. Uh, take a bunch of drugs if you want to. If you're oh into my that. God. Um, and drink the night away. Two different types mm. of people. Mm. <laughs> also, one has done do things want... and one hasn't. Can you tell the difference? <clears throat> yes. If you guys want help of disposing of bodies, hey, alright, 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 alright. You know what? 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 Alright, oh. we're just gonna deafen myself, and we're gonna finish the stream with just me now because they want to be uh, a little assholes. Nonetheless, thank you everybody for coming by and enjoying this little bit of a um, session. A little bit all over the place, but it did help divulge and understand a lot more things. I think on everything. If you enjoyed this, and God dang it, Drew. If you enjoyed this and are new to the new to the channel, maybe consider dropping a follow. We do like to do sessions every Sunday at 1:30 p.m. Eastern time, whenever everybody is free. If we aren't free, then there will be no stream. Um. Nevertheless, I thank you all 
for joining, and I thank my friends here for joining as well. I would let them say goodbye, but they're going to say some more out of fucking pocket shit, and I'd rather not get banned on Twitch. That would, that would fucking suck for me personally. So, yeah. Again, thank you everybody for joining. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye, my friends. Bye-bye. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle.